So now that we have these comparison operators in place, what can we do with them? Well, each one of them, that's all they do is they just do a comparison. Is the left side something to the right side? Is it equal to? Is it greater than? Is it not equal to? And so what this allows us to do is actually produce Boolean uh, expressions, conditional statements. So if we take, for example, our uh, three lines of code. I have an integer a, I have a double b, and I have an integer c. And then I've got a few different conditional uh, statements on the right. I'll take a second, pause your video, and uh, just see if they, you know, you can answer these on the fly. So if you've gotten some time, you took a look at them, uh, one of the quick and easy ones is if we're looking at, say for example, uh, a is a greater than c. Well, a again is just 54 and c is uh, simple enough. 3, so a is in fact greater than 3. This is true. All right, well, is a less than c? Now this time, this is where things get, I wouldn't even say weird, but we have to understand how the computer operates. It, isn't, it doesn't care whether or not A is greater than C or not. So it just wants to know, is this a true or false statement? It only cares about the result. So in this case, A less than C is 54 less than 3. Again, the computer doesn't care what the real answer is. It only cares about what the answer to this question is. So this one does result in a false. Now, is C less than or equal to C? So we have to think about this again. We're, take, we're saying 3, is 3 less than or equal to 3? Yes, it is. So that is, in fact, true. Now, is A equal to equal to B? This is actually a little interesting because, one, a is an integer and B is a double. So instead of me writing this out and just telling you the answer, let's pull out kind of the handy dandy code. So if we look at that again, int A is equal to 54 and B is equal to 3.14. Now you're already saying uh, 3 and 54. They're too far away from each other. It can't possibly be it. But what I want to indicate to you is that it's not so much a matter of that, but an integer and a double can actually be compared, and it will not crash on me. So if I run through my code, test.java, could not find, oh, sorry, Java files, there we are. Test.java. Notice how it didn't complain about it. You know, me comparing, you know, doubles and in, everything's fine. Java test. Notice how they equaled out to false. So, what happens if instead I did something like this? Is A, which equals the whole number 3, and B, which equals the decimal number 3? Are they equal to each other? Well, pause the video. Find out. So hopefully you did, and let's find out what happens. We compiled. Everything's fine. Is A, the whole number, 3, equal to B, the decimal point number, 3? It is, in fact, true. 